Scientists say the world is at risk from extremely dangerous levels of climate change despite global efforts to limit emissions of carbon dioxide. It comes as many parts of the world are currently in the grip of record high temperatures. Researchers have added that the most devastating effects of climate change can be averted if global action is taken to cut emissions, plant forests and, as they say, develop technology to suck carbon from the air. Our science editor David Shookman reports. An image of apocalypse of the kind you might expect Hollywood to conjure up. But this was filmed on a real front line in California over the weekend. Record temperatures and bone dry conditions are triggering dozens of wildfires in several American states. We stayed up there as long as we could in our valley until the, the flames were actually, they weren't 360 degrees around our area, but close enough that we decided to get out. There are similar scenes in Europe. In Portugal, an entire mountainside in the Algarve has been burning for three days. Fires are a constant risk here, but the speed of their spread has been shocking. This woman and her animals had a lucky escape. At the same time, there's punishing heat in Asia. North Korea, usually so secretive, allowed its shimmering streets to be filmed. The heat wave has been declared a natural disaster. The summer isn't over yet, but already there's been a string of remarkable extremes. Last month, Death Valley in California had an average temperature of 42.3 Celsius, the highest ever recorded. Even in the Arctic, Bardufoss in Norway reached a record high of 33.5 Celsius. And Oman had a 24-hour period in which it never got below 42.6. And scientists say that climate change may bring more of this. A new report warns that we're still pumping out the gases that warm the atmosphere and that the Earth may suddenly become much hotter. Because natural features of the planet, like the rainforests, are under pressure and they help to keep us cool. So if it were correct, and if this was to take place, it would be very serious because there would be all sorts of impacts that would affect people in many ways, for example, um, some places would be very short of water, other places would in deltas and places would be flooded. One extreme is clear in Switzerland. The famous alpine meadows have turned brown. Nearby, a nuclear power station has had to cut back because the river water that's meant to cool it is now too hot. And in Japan, there's another challenge. More than 100 people have died in the heat, but this is where the Olympic Games will be held in 2020. So they might shift the clocks by two hours so races can be in cooler conditions. A radical move as temperatures are set to rise. David Shrookman, BBC News.